If you've clicked on this video, I presume you've seen the previous part to this. And I have to be honest with you, in that last video, I made a mistake. <laughs> Ichido is actually worse than what I said in the video. You see, just not long ago, I made a video going over some of the controversy about the commentary YouTuber Ichido. In that video, I went over such topics as bigotry, threatening copyright strikes on smaller creators, and a feud that he was involved in where Ichido somehow made himself out to be just as, if not worse than the other person and what they did. But whilst I went over much of what I saw as the most prominent drama about Ichido, I did leave some information out. And I do need to reword one fact that I got wrong in the video regarding Bunk, which actually made it worse for Ichido. Then I also want to go over some of the comments I received as some of them didn't understand certain points and others are just funny to read. So think of this as the bonus episode to that video and going over some extra information that was left out. Much of which is just as interesting so make sure to stick around. After uploading and seeing that video got some attention, one of the YouTubers Bunk reached out to me to clarify some of the information seen in the video. See, during my video, I made this comment. Previous to the live stream, Bunk and Ichido had a back and forth which set up the interview. Some of the rules for the live stream were that Bunk was going to live stream the event, but were not to upload to YouTube. Much of the statement towards Bunk made after that was based on this timeline of events. Although this was actually incorrect, the information that I had was based on information provided by by a third party source being a YouTube video. You see, when researching that portion, I had to go with the information provided by those who had made content about the topic. As I attempted to look at the original tweets from the time, but noticed that Bunk's Twitter that was linked on his YouTube was suspended, and Ichido had deleted all of his tweets before around May. The source I found about the topic made the mention that this happened before the live stream, so I went with that. In the comments of the video, there are no challenges to this view, therefore I took it as correct. Today that video has around 25k views, so I figured it was reliable. Although I came to realise that this wasn't entirely true, and I will apologise to Bunk for that misunderstanding. And due to this I began semi-painting Bunk in a negative light, and giving some reason, although not a full excuse, for why Achito had sort of a motive for why he would press for a copyright strike after the live stream was uploaded. Which I now realise that neither of these are actually factual statements. As we can see through the series of messages, Bunk provided me with screenshots from the conversation. The crucial point being that any conversation about the stream only being on Twitch was confirmed to occur after it happened. It is untrue that they went into the live stream with prior knowledge of this information. Although we now see a new attempt from Ichido to find a way to make Bunk look bad. This comes in the form of pointing out how Bunk edited one of his messages which is about how he probably won't upload the stream. According to Ichido, it previously said, sure, I won't. Let's break down the possibilities. For one, if the message was just, sure, I won't, it wouldn't be necessary. There is no reason to add the, I won't, at the end of the message. It adds nothing to the message as a simple, sure, would have done the same effect. Although, I probably won't, does change the meaning and can make sense to be added if that's what the person was thinking. Second, as Bunk described to me through DMs, he hyper-focuses on correct grammar in his messaging, a statement which I myself can understand. And in the message, sure, I probably won't, we can see multiple uses of commas and apostrophes which could be easily mistyped and want re-editing. Furthermore, Bunk shows other messages were also edited in DMs fixing mistakes. Although, everything I said is going on the idea that this even matters. I initially had the belief that they both went into the live stream thinking it wouldn't be uploaded, but now this shows that after the interview was made, they had this conversation. Worst case, and in the extreme scenario where Bunk is lying about editing the message to fix grammar, then he said he wouldn't upload the clip, but changed his mind without any other steps in between. Meaning that in the case where Bunk was lying to me, which I don't believe may I add, it would still be just as bad looking for Cheeto as if Bunk said he might upload the clip originally, then if he said it after. Then when taking that into account there would be no point in Bunk lying to me as he could have just said to Cheeto in the moment that he changed his mind and would have still been in the right. There would have been no reason for lying. Therefore, I fully believe the statement Ichido is making about Bunk editing the message in DMs makes zero sense and wouldn't logically fit any reality. So to conclude, Bunk and Ichido had a live stream interview where Ichido made certain bigoted comments. After the interview, Ichido requested that the interview would not be uploaded to YouTube and was given the possibility that it wouldn't. Then when it was uploaded, as Bunk stated it had the possibility of being, Ichido threatened to copyright strike the video. Moving on from that, I'd 
would like to mention two other things about Ishido before going into the fun comment stuff. In Ishido and Bunk's DMs, we see extra conversation about Ishido's so-called privacy. Ichido states that, For my privacy, I am requesting for you to keep it off YouTube. Bunk pressed multiple times for reasoning over what he means by this and received comments to not be like this and that he doesn't need to explain. In my last video, I explained to you why this privacy stunt that he tried to pull on Twitter about the live stream being posted made no sense. I won't divulge into that much. For a full explanation, you can check out the last video for that. Most of what it boils down to is that due to both parties consenting and making a public appearance, there was no ground for any legal copyright, especially now with the information of how discussion about that occurred after the public appearance. This proves that even when press about what his privacy is, he cannot describe what it really means. To sort of cover up for his intention behind why he doesn't want the video to be posted tracks back all the way back to the beginning now. Now moving to Twitter, the second thing I wanted to mention was this one tweet which was literally made three days after I made my video. Basically what went down was this guy was talking about gender identity and how it's complicated but he wants to find a resolution that feels comfy for him. Remember that word comfy as it's going to become necessary in about two seconds. A Cheeto quote tweets with, grown man talks about being comfy on the internet. I just, I just have no idea how this opinion even formed. To begin, I think gender extends to outside of the internet as well. I think people can be comfortable about their gender just for like, existing, you know? Just to reiterate for Ichido to understand, there's nothing wrong about feeling comfortable with gender. I would presume you seem pretty comfortable with being male, and that's the same thing. It's like the whole pronouns don't exist argument. Ichido, you're comfortable with being masculine, and this guy has been comfortable with being semi-masculine. And you find it wrong that he's comfortable? Get your head out of your own ass and learn some respect. Obviously due to critiquing Ichido so harshly, I received some comments on my last video from some upset fans, and I would like to have a look at some of those today. I haven't ordered them very well, so it's going to jump from joke troll to genuine comment quite often, so be on your toes. Oh yeah, this is a good one to start with. Guard video by a garb creator. You're not gonna make it as a creator. Get a real job. Gay for pay. I knew this section of the video wasn't gonna disappoint. Let's move on. This comment was made on a different video, but I noticed it came from the Achito one, so I'll count it anyway. It comes from David the Gamer. Clap seal. Hmm, my channel is dying. Let's make a video just for cloud and clickbait. His fans. Man, I love his videos. Me. Wow, this is clickbait. I don't, I don't really have anything to add this one except for, man, that is a cool username. Honestly, I just wanted to include this because he talked about me having fans and that made my day. So this guy leaves a timestamp and says, WTF do you mean identify as Christian? It's not some kind of gender, get over yourself and stop making cheap content, get a life, make some good content, T spill content isn't good and I can spell you even shout out in years. Hello Cronover. I must say I'm really impressed with your level of confidence on something that you're just not correct on. Christianity is a belief system. You choose to believe it. Therefore, you can identify as such. Identify just means you associate with it. And I know this dude's baiting mainly because he said that, but it's still confusing to see why you would devote your time to this, and then back out immediately. Like if you're gonna bait, first off don't, you're wasting your own time, but if you do, why would you back out so fast? What was even the point? You don't bring up that vegan teacher because you want everyone to hate pointless, not here so your community of idiots to grow. This being left on a video about a guy who went by pointless and how, oh hey look it's David the Gamer again. I think he's talking about how I brushed over another person's drama to talk about pointless and yeah because that's a video topic. Anyway, we should get back to the real comments now. I just wanted to show you the lore of David the Gamer some more. You should mention the Andrew Tate video. His opinions there also did not make any sense. I did see that video. For those out of the loop, Ichido recently made a video covering the Andrew Tate ban, and Ichido is a staunch defender of Andrew Tate staying on all platforms. I'm not getting into Andrew Tate in this video, as the boys at my school echo his opinions more than I want to hear anymore, but the video Ichido made was so disliked, and the most funny thing about it was the comments were praising Ichido's community for being able to call him out for being wrong. Like I know it's a good trait and I appreciate that sort of thing, but I think it's so funny that the compliments for your fanbase is that they're able to call you out on your bullshit sometimes. 
Oh no, he has an opinion that people don't agree with. Quick, ban him, cancel him, destroy his life. Like, what the fuck do you mean, dude? He has an opinion, leave him alone. Something that I noticed is that many of the commenters seem to have ignored that most of the video was not about Ichido's opinion on gender. Like seriously, most of the video about the comments he made towards non-binary people was to build up context for the false copyright claiming drama that came after. And I really think people have lost the meaning of the word cancel. I'm allowed to critique his opinions on things. Cancelling would be trying to do what Ichido did to Weast. And that was saying he should be removed from the platform and have his sponsors removed. I didn't do that. Your editing is so good and your points. How does this only have 600 views? Now this comment is great, thank you so much. Then I looked in the replies to find David the fucking gamer who says, It's just Minecraft gameplay. D David, all the gameplay in the video was taken from the person I made the video on. You're making fun of the other person, not me. Me. Finally, I want to end the video with this comment as I believe it is a fair and genuine opinion to end the video on. I had a conversation with the dude in the replies and I understand his stance. What I took from this is that due to Achito's opinions falling differently to mine, as it seems obvious that me and Achito were taught differently in different beliefs, that I'm going to disagree and not support his actions. So essentially making my video about said things, which again wasn't just about his beliefs but I digress, will just cause my audience to begin to mould opinions on the person. I'm still trying to find a way to demonstrate the severity of how people like this or people in future videos act, but still have the clarity to show that the person is not evil and doesn't warrant an attack. Many just tell their audience to not send any harassment their way, and whilst I do this too, there is still a chance that will as this comment puts it radicalise the person I make a video on. And despite me understanding my role and making that clear, there's only so much I can do. I do not hate a Cheeto. I am talking about the controversies that he is involved in. It is almost always going to show the person negatively. There's no way around that. Just to finish off what I'm saying, to not leave it here without a conclusion, I am trying to convey to my audience that harassment isn't accepted. And I do hope hope people go into my video and realize that I am talking about only the worst of the person, or at least what's interesting and controversial about them. I think to provide an example, and I know it's irony and then using Ichido again negatively to show this, but the way he handled the Weiss drama was in my opinion the exact point this commenter is making. That was targeted at Weiss and could definitely fire up an audience and insinuate that they should do something. I will try to not echo such a reaction like that and show as much clarity as I can through out my channel. But with that, we're out of funny and interesting comments. I want to also thank all of those who left positive ones on the video. You did not go unappreciated. I thank you all for the support I had on that video, it meant a lot to me. Unless Ichido decides to progress this further, I will not speak again on the topic. I just wanted to make this video to talk about some stuff and mainly to redo what I said about Bunk to be fair to him. That's all for now, I'll see you losers next time, peace.